Well, the Young Democrats of North Carolina uh, is an organization that targets 18 to 35 year olds for youth activism in the party, in the Democratic Party. And one of the things we talked about, well, what do you guys do first of all? I mean, what is the, the I mean, events and types of things that you guys do? We, um, we have campaign invasions. For example, if this year we want to target the first congressional district in the East, the 8th with the Larry Kissel race, and the 11th congressional district where Congressman Heath Shuler resides. And so we want this year to bring um, a, a good level of activism to that area and make sure that we are ready for 2008. And so we target and increase voter outreach and increase voter registration. We were talking about this earlier. This isn't just 18, 19 year olds, this organization, no. correct? I'm, I'm actually 28. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm on the older end, but that goes to show that, like you said, young people, young is different in different places. Um, and it really means that young people under 35 can make a difference. How, what, in your view, what is it in recent years of why these numbers have been low? And, in just in general? Well, I think, I really think that it's because young people don't feel connected to the political system. Um, many times they feel that, you know, it's tailored in some way and they don't have a real reaction from that particular person. And of course, people, all people think that, you know, politicians are dishonest to some extent, but I think including them um, in the process early and teaching them that their vote counts and how their vote counts is a way to engage young people. Has part of the problem been the world has changed? I mean, we've talked about you know the world of video games yes. and things like that now. A lot of attention issues. No, I, I think so. I think so because um, many, many times you you when you're young, you don't realize that what happens in the general assembly has an effect on your life. Um, and so, not sometimes until you get older does it really make a difference to you. But one thing I think, like we talked about, was the whole YouTubeification of politics. Um, granted, we just had the CNN YouTube debates for the Democrats and that allows young people to feel completely engaged at their leisure at their comfort level and that's where generation X and Y are with doing things in our comfort level and um, and making sure that we're getting a real call and response you know they they had a chance to give real life questions that they felt were pertinent to pol politicians and wanted to see them accomplish certain things is the same true for the MySpaces, the Facebooks and several others yes uh, <laughs> One, one goal of the Young Democrats is to have every college teen and Young Democrat chapter to have a minimum of Facebook and MySpace because there are millions of potential voters there and when the elections turn up in 2008, for example in May, everyone will get very excited about whomever the nominee is on both sides and they'll be looking for a place to become active, to give their, to give their time and to support the candidate of their choice. And so by being in that cyberspace, we allow them to come to the Young Democrats and become members. As far as the candidates go, is that a good outreach for them as well? I mean, do you think the younger folks, that's the way they're looking to outreach to learn more about the candidates through their personal? Exactly. Yeah, I, I think so. Um, what, it, what it does is, again, it allows them to do it at their leisure, 2 o'clock in the morning if you wanted to. You can send a post with an honest, very honest response and probably, you know, start to dialogue with other people across the country. And so it, it, it's a bit different from the old political ways where you had to speak directly to that particular person in a setting that you probably felt very uncomfortable with. With the MySpace and Facebook, you can, you can post and, and probably get replies from the youth voter outreach person um, or, or contact or coordinator from that campaign. So it allows them to, you know, to, to be in a good level of dialogue. With these new technologies, are you already seeing more activism, do you think, as far as, as them getting involved in some of these new technologies? I do. Um, most people contact us through Facebook or MySpace. They do. They, they Google us and find our website. They become members, and then we contact them and bring them in, into our organization. But yes, it is, it's a must. And I really do emphasize the fact that any party, any candidate that wants to be um, successful has to move towards that way because now I'm, I'm an educator. I just started teaching uh, in, at Southern High School, and it blew me away to find out that every last one of my students, they were so techno they were so tech savvy, so tech savvy, and that's just the way politics is going to have to go because these people in 10 years will be 28, and the people behind them will be 18, and so they've grown up in this tech society, 
and that's going to be the only way, or at least one of the avenues that they're comfortable with. And so we have to do that to be successful. That's one thing I was going to ask, because you're 28, I'm 30, and mm -hmm. I'm sort of caught in the divide between, I feel like, between the older politicians right. and, and these young kids, because I, I, I don't know what some of these websites are like. <laughs> do you talk to some of the candidates, and, and how are they coping with it, I guess? Well, like you said, I mean, uh, many of those grew up in, in the era where everything was a telephone call and a personal meeting, and it's out of their comfort zone. But that's why you have an organization like the Young Democrats in North Carolina to, you know, show you this is, this is how basically you do what you do. You, you, you um, engage these people on their level. And I think with, with our help, you know, candidates will be very successful uh, because, again, it allows us to directly speak to the generation that we represent. There's plenty of talk of, you know, look at the General Assembly. It's yes. an older group, Congresses, all. What do you think it's going to take, or do you see potentially younger candidates, not just voters? Well, actually, that's, that's one of the goals of the young, the young Democrats. We are trying to engage and inspire a new generation of leadership. Um, you saw Harold Ford Jr. Um, and, and those types, and uh, even some of the national candidates that are very, very young. Uh, and that's one of the goals that you know, we're going to try to try to pursue. But in order to get uh, young people again excited, we're going to have to start very early. Um, you're going to have to get people engaged as, and, and bring uh, a good level of trust back to government. Because even though we are somewhat apathetic, we still want to trust the people that represent us. And, and we want to make sure that they're not making decisions based on you know, values that aren't uh, persistent or, or great with young people. And so I think that's, that's the way we're going to have to, and it's a good level of outreach because we live in a society where it's really soundbite TV now, and we're going to have to actually go out and recruit people and, and be very, very organized and, and be in a very organized and professional fashion. For example, with you know, young lawyers, young doctors, we're going to have to speak to them in their time frames and in their language, and, and, and we have to do that in order to be successful.